the executives or business professionals, we're all learning too. Facts and figures, conversations and different perspectives. Plus, of course, networking. I mean, just here when we finished the panel, I've already spoken with four artists and I'm only 10 feet away from where I was sitting, you know what I mean? Radio in the mix at the IMC, but grappling with its own shortcomings, not to mention relevance in the era of social media. Because all of these ways are how you're getting introduced to the music, we are still top tier where when you get to us, you're in the mainstream now. When you touch real radio, you know your boss. Any artist who wants to be major wants to get on the major platform. So why are a lot of artists, top tier artists, not doing interviews with media? Well, they know that they have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with their audience. So therefore, they don't have to rush to the interview anymore. Social media has affected that. If you look at other genres, other music genres, you'll see their A-listers on all kind of different platforms. We're not kind of seeing that in, the, in that sound. We have to grow our A-listers, and the minute we grow them, sometimes we don't even see them, and we have to go back to the drawing board as um, broadcasters. So for me, that's, that's a massive problem. Look at the guys them who are not doing interviews and look at their numbers to so the guys them who are doing interviews. Numbers don't lie, it's all analytics. And they don't have to be the, even the more talented. Just the ones them with the work ethic. This has been proven over and over and over again. If, if you can't it, when you're just a dummy and you're not supposed to win. And on the event side, I would say that the promoters struggled. Other IMC stakeholders, including party and festival promoters, as well as the cops having to deal with the fallout from resulting traffic jams. You mentioned all of these agencies that play a part in making sure that events run smoothly. We don't know what actually happened because nobody really, at the end of the day, takes responsibility. One of the things that happens, there are always post-event reviews, a debrief. I'm not sure that we've been very commun communicative about our findings to the public, so that may be a shortcoming in terms of the planning process. Is it also sometimes poor policing? It is a number of factors. The sea morality, it is very a, difficult to quantify. The panel on money management factoring on a subject dear to the heart of most people. Some of us are artists that will end up trusting people around you, whether it be the manager or something like that. I'm saying over and over again, managers are not supposed to touch your money. That is not your manager's job. Yeah. What you put together is a team. I'm financially secure, no, but I had to build that back, right? Because I was not smart, I didn't know the game, I didn't learn, which is why I'm doing this whole thing. You know? Most Jamaican artists don't want to give up the 25% that is needed to actually have a team like that. And you have to be able to do that because when you do that, the 25% you're giving up, if you stay down and keep it to yourself, you might lose more. Jamaican culture, it's most impactful export, but reggae music still a bad credit risk back home. If Bob Marley was alive today and went to a financial institution and said, boy, give me a loan against my catalog, he wouldn't get it. The top five performers in Jamaica right now, they don't know how much money they make, so they can't tell me how much it is. So I will live against that. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a question of risk, Shaggy. Mm -hmm. The financial institutions perceive that the entertainment industry is higher risk. Okay. And therefore, if you, if you have higher risk, you're going to have so they're not bankable, that's what you're saying? Yes. The music industry themselves have to step up, and the capital is there. But things like audit, the musicians don't know how much money they make. If they don't know, how can they tell me? How can they come to me, I want to borrow money, and they don't know how much, they, how they're going to repay it? The public want to know, and musicians want to know, that you guys are a safe bet. You think what happened with SSL has tarnished the reputation of the financial sector in general? I don't think it tarnished the reputation of the financial sector, but it highlighted for all involved some of the possible things that could happen. We here at Jane, we have, we're an entity that's almost 150 years old and we pride ourselves on how it is that we handle our customers' money, how we handle their business, not just their money, and the internal controls that we have. But tarnishing the reputation of the industry, I don't think it did, but I just think it kind of highlighted some stuff that we probably need to focus on a bit more. Look, we've had, you know, fraud from the beginning of banking you're going to have fraud you're going to have fraud tomorrow um, the, the banking system has generally been a solid um, and, and success story so you know that's not what to look at and so has our music it, it is a success story it's how can we get both <laughs> working together to make it bigger and better 
um, notwithstanding whatever hiccups we're going to have along the way, you're going to have failures in the music industry, you're going to have failures in banking, but we roll and come again because it's, we're good at it. I think the key thing that was discussed today is that Jamaican families and homes should have more financial discussions. Majority of my high net worth customers, they have conversations with their kids, they ensure that they've met me, they know where the money is, etc. And I think if Jamaica can become a place where money is not a dirty secret, but it's something that is spoken about and how you make money is spoken about, I think you will see a massive change in how we do things, not just in the music industry. As for the IMC, lots of ground covered, and there's always next year. You know what? Whoever should have been here was here. And as it catches on, more people will recognize that for their own benefit, they need to be here. A number of the panels that we have had, information you just cannot pay for.